Hey, it's Matt, and today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about this the concept of Stoicism. Uh, Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy, and actually if you look up the word Stoicism in the dictionary, it says that is it is the endurance of pain or hardship without a display of feelings and without complaint. Right? It has synonyms in here about fortitude, endurance, acceptance, tolerance. And I find this fascinating. I've been doing a lot of reading of, of Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, some ancient Greek philosophers, some Stoics from long, long ago. And what's interesting about this concept is that it is all about staring your fears right in the face, right? And testing yourself on those fears, almost getting to what, kind of thinking about what is the worst case scenario, and then I'm going to go perform that so that when I do, when I figure out it's not as bad as I thought, that that fear vanishes, and then it can open you up to the possibilities in the future. So it's just very, very fascinating, and, and I highly recommend you pick up, you know, books by Seneca and Marcus Aurelius and start reading this as they reflect on their lives. Um, so it's just very, very interesting and has intrigued me. And I came across this quote today that I wanted to share with you because I think it's something that we all struggle with. And this is the quote from Marcus Aurelius. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. All right, so listen to this again. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. I would say that is something that's definitely true in my life and something that I struggle with and that I have to kind of build that mental muscle, that toughness around, right? Of, you know, there are comments that people make uh, either verbally through social media and all these other channels that sometimes kind of make you take a step back and, and make you think like, wow, am I, am I headed in the right direction? Am I doing something wrong? You know, all those negative comments that we have come. And you know, it's almost like we give more weight to what other people think of the business we run, of the type of mother or father or uncle or aunt or whatever in our lives, colleague that we are. And we give that more weight than our own, right? We, we, we look outside instead of looking inside and saying like, listen, am I doing everything in my power right now to make a difference in the world, right? To, to do this job well, to run this project, to, to raise these children, right? And instead of worrying about what action we can take and how we can improve ourselves on a daily basis, we worry about what that random friend says or what someone types on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. And that one little comment, one comment can derail you from the action and the momentum that you've gained. And this is something that I've had to work on over time, right? And, you know, just last week, like I do these videos, you know, quite a bit. And, and you know, I know that they're going to resonate with some people and, and perhaps not others. And, you know, some people will write comments that, you know, they didn't like the video or, or uh, you know, make it shorter or make it longer. And, and what I've had to do over time is train myself to look at those, see them for what they're worth, learn what I need to learn from them, and, and then keep taking action, right? And keep keep that train moving forward because that one comment, I do not want to derail me for any amount of time, if possible, in milliseconds, right? Instead of days or weeks. And I want you to, to think about that quote, you know, over the rest of today and this week. And instead of worrying about what other people might be thinking about you, right? What they might be saying about you, what they might be writing about you. Instead, focus on what can I control in this situation? How can I get better? How can I improve right here, right now, today, over this week to make a bigger impact in this world? Because at the end of the day, we control where we get in this world. We control that destination. And so we've got to be focused on getting better each and every day. That's the quote I wanted to leave you with. Check out Stoicism. It's fascinating. Just, just go Google it and you'll find all sorts of different quotes and, and readings that you can do on this philosophy. And I'll try to sprinkle this in a little bit uh, over these next couple of weeks. But it's your opinion that matters, not someone else's. So go make a difference today. This is Matt signing off. And as always, don't hold back.